guys, Cindy over here with my RT Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Um, we are going to work today on our ABCs of chronic pain, and we are on I. Now, I love this. I love this book. I sat here for like five minutes before I turned the camera on, just playing with this. I love the chunky chunky. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, okay. Sorry, I'm a little crazy. Anyways, we're going to talk about I. And what I did is I went through my um, junk drawer here, my scrap drawer, and I just pulled out a bunch of stuff. And I didn't think they were going to be big enough. Um, I just have a bunch of leftovers, and I thought, you know, we're just going to play. We're going to play with these, and we're going to do some eye work. So we're going to start out with, like we normally do, um, our bad words if you want to call them bad words. Okay, and I was kind of, you know, I can't say it was hard to come up with, but it was it was different um, to try to think about the, my I words. And the first one, um, sorry, I had to get my mind on track here. The first one that came to my mind was my injury. And, you know, in that just that quick not even 30 seconds that injury just changed my life and I don't know which way I want to do this I'm get as much of that color as possible so I'm going to do it just like that um so yeah my first one was injury and I thought you know how awful it is that, you know, an injury, something so simple, had to change my life the way it did. I'm going to see how much this covers. It actually covers quite a bit, so I'm going to take this and just continue around the outside of it. So, yeah, my first one was injury. Now, um, remember, when we talk about chronic pain, it doesn't have to be physical. It can also be um, mental. Um, it can be, um, you know, it doesn't have to be, oh, I broke my back or I hurt my arm or, you know, I, I messed up my knee. It can also be, you know, emotional. It can be an, anything to do with the brain. You could have um, any type of injury in the brain, which is going to put you through a lot of these same feelings. You know, and it doesn't even have to be an injury or or, or um um, emotional or mental it can be something just as you know as unfortunately common as cancer you know it's all chronic pain it's it's a pain and it, it wears on us it's it's something that we all have to deal with if if we're handed that situation so you know chronic pain is kind of like that I like that print. Let's see. Um, chronic pain can be defined by many, many different things. And like I said, it doesn't have to be just um, physical. So in my case, mine was my injury. And unfortunately, my injury is what um, I have to deal with. And... It's a bummer. <laughs> so funny. I, I'm going to be honest with you guys and, and tell you, um, yesterday, I had a really, really, really bad day. Yesterday was a hard, hard day for me. I, um, I woke up just in that mood. I woke up with that feeling of, I just didn't want to do it anymore. I told my husband, I said, you know, I'm tired. I'm tired of waking up every morning and feeling so much pain, I, you know. And nine times out of ten, I didn't get much sleep the night before. So, you know, that's com um, compounded on top of it. And it's just, it gets ridiculous. So, yeah, um, I don't know why I got off on track on that, but... Yeah, the injury, the injury can take its toll whatever way you want to look at it. Again, whether it's physical, mental, um, emotional, whatever the case may be. 
All right, for some reason, I'm not quite sure why I put that purple on there, but I just wanted to cover up that middle, but now I want to take some of it off, which is fine. And I'm going to dry this real quick as soon as I find my heat gun. I'm just going to dry it enough so that I can flip it over. Yeah, and that did what it want I wanted it to do. I just wanted it to kind of cover up that middle there so it wasn't quite so it. So yeah, um, there we go. It's, actually, I'm just going to start working on this side for the bad side. So yeah, injury was my first word. Um, what else have I got here? Um, <laughs> itch. <laughs> itch, yeah. <laughs> it itches. It's irritating. It's, um, what else can I think of? Let me think irritating it's itchy it's inconsolable um, sometimes you know there's times when um, I get exactly that I just get to the point where it doesn't matter what you say to me um, I just don't want to hear it and you know what that's it's nothing against um, me per se as it is you know it's these the emotions that you can just take so much of sometimes it gets to the point where you just don't want to hear it anymore and that has to do with the um, being able to handle it and just the the amount that you can take people can only take so much I don't care who you are you can only take so much pain and it's gonna mentally get to you it's going to make you not happy it's going to um, make you very irritable like I said yesterday yesterday was not a good day for me I didn't uh, I didn't want to talk to anybody I um, had friends reach out and they're like Cindy you're not talking what's going on and I'm like I just I can't I just can't talk right now is not the day for me to talk I'll be fine I'll talk to you tomorrow um, today is tomorrow, and to be honest with you, I still don't feel like talking. I just want to be in my art space and just do my thing and let it be. Because this is what helps me make it through days like yesterday and today. Without this art, without being able to sit here and play with paint and to glue things down, um, honestly, I, I, I would not, I would not be a very happy camper. I would be in very bad shape and I'm not ashamed to admit it. You know, this is my lifeline. This right here is my lifeline. The injury took me out of my career and put me into art and without it, it would not be pretty. Let me dry this up. I'll be right back. Alright, so now what I'm going to do, this is just some texture paste. I'm not sure why I have those rubber bands on there. Who knows? Um, just some texture paste that I'm going to use this round stencil here. Or punchinella, whichever you want to call it. And just throw some texture down on this. This, I have to tell you, this is one of my favorite... Uh, modeling slash texture paste. I really like this. I'm not quite sure why. I think it's because it spreads so easy. It dries quick. I absolutely love it. So um, this is made by Ranger and it's just called texture paste and it's matte. And I think this is like the third jar I've went through. So I enjoy using that. Let me dry this real quick. Just kind of taking off the edges here. Um, dry it real quick, and then we're going to keep going on it. So I'll be right back. All right, so this is pretty well dry. Now I've got some golden fluid acrylic here. Um, this is in fluorescent pink. So I'm just going to grab my glue paper here. And I just want to drip, maybe. 
Maybe not. I always end up with all these things sealed over with paint. There we go. Yeah, so, you know, like I said, the I words, it's kind of hard because, you know, there's really not a whole lot that I have other than, you know, the injury, the itch, irritable. Um, and I love it when you guys come up with new words. I, I, you know, there may be things that I don't think about, and I love seeing what you guys come up with. So, you know, don't stop doing that. That's really cool. And I hope you guys enjoy this series. I mean, you know, I just thought let's talk about chronic pain a little bit more and um, make sure that, you know, you know you're not alone. You definitely are not alone. I love this. Isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. That should be the good side. <laughs> Not the bad words. <laughs> but that's all right. We're going to keep it. All right, let me dry it. All right, so this is just a fine liner, and it's got some black gesso in it. And hopefully I can get it working today. It's been a while since I've used my black um, fine liner, so I just want to kind of go around some of these circles. Just play, right? That's what we're here to do is play. So, um,. You know, when we flip on over to our other side, we got to talk about, you know, what do we do when we face those I words? Um, when, and I'm going to start here because, um, yeah, the first thing is the injury. What do we do when we face that injury? Well, I can tell you, um, the first thing I did is I told them it was not permanent. <laughs> I told the doctors, I said, you're going to go in, you're going to do surgery on me, you're going to fix me, and I'm going back to work. Yeah. Uh, he didn't quite believe me, and I didn't believe him. i got to grab my hole punch. I'm not sure why it ended up over here, but it did. So, um, you know, he told me, he's like, well, you know, it's permanent and there's nothing we can do to fix it. But that wasn't at the beginning. Um, at the beginning, you know, we what did we do? We started the process. We worked on, I went to physical therapy. Um, I did, um, you know, we did our bout of steroids. The, the normal stuff that they put you through with a back injury. Uh, we tried all of it. It didn't work. Um, then, you know, after however many months, actually it was a year and some months, we finally got approval from workers' comp to go ahead and do um, the surgery. And, of course, that didn't work. So, you know, it got hard. And I really want to write on this. I don't want to... I don't want to use stickers. Let me grab... There's a certain pen I want to use. Let's see, where is it? Da, 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 da. Come on. I want my. Let's use this one. This will work. Um, yeah. So you know, I went through the normal things that you do um, when whatever you have an injury. You know, they want you to go through the physical therapy. They want you to do the different medications. They want you to try ice. They want you to rest. They want you to do this, that, and the other thing. You know, and we did all that. And unfortunately, um, none of it worked. So I ended up having to, you know, have the surgery. And that was a crapshoot. Um... The doctor told me before he even went in, he said, I don't know if I can help you. Um, you know, we can try. And as it was, I wasn't in surgery very long. They opened me up. They um, looked at it, and they closed me back up. And there was nothing more they could do. So I want to put my words on here. I want to put the first one is itch. 
and I use itch because um, with fibromyalgia uh, <laughs> it's so weird all of a sudden I'll feel like I have a bug crawling up my leg or on my foot the top of my feet it feels like I have mosquito bites all over the tops of them and they itch like crazy but there's nothing there so um, the other one is injury And like I said, it does not have to be a physical injury. It could be a, um, you know, a, an emotional tragedy. It could be anything of that nature. Um, irritated. Okay. Um, irritable. Inconsolable, inconsol. How do you spell it? Inconsolable. So it's I N C O N S O U A B L E. Inconsolable. I can't. I can't. That word's hard for me. Um, inconsolable, irritated, itchy. Um, trying to think. That's all I can think of right now. So that's what I'm going to stick with for right now. Let me grab a marker. I just want to throw some dots on here. I like this. This was a fun one. This one was pretty. It didn't. It came out a lot more um, colorful than I expected it to. I'm not sure why, but. Um, yeah, I ended up with a lot more color on this than I really expected. So, it's all good. Color's good. All right. So, there's our eyes. Now, we're going to flip this over. First, I'm going to dry it up really good. And then, we're going to flip it over. And we're going to talk about what we do for these things. Okay? So, let me dry and I'll be back. Ah, as I was drying, I thought of one more that... Um, I, Fortunately, I don't have, but I know there's a lot of people that deal with fibro and um, other issues, medical issues, and that is IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome. Um, thankfully, like I said, I don't have to worry about that. Um, the medications I take don't bother me. You know, I've never had an issue that way, so I'm very lucky there. And this is still really sticky. So I'm just afraid when I turn it over, it's going to stick. But we're going to move on. We're going to move on to our backside. And we're going to, let's see, what colors are we going to work on? I love this neon green. So let's pull some of that green out. I don't know if it's the same one or not, but we're going to use this. Um, and I like some of this purple. Pink, maybe. Maybe it's a hot pink. Let's use a hot pink. Not quite hot pink. This is a tutti fruity pink, but hey, it'll work. Now, I want to use some stencils, so let me grab some stencils. And I'm just going to grab a handful, and then we're going to use something out of this handful. All right, so I like that one. Da, da, da. I had these all in a um, albums, and the albums were driving me crazy because I couldn't flip through them fast enough, or I had to have more albums, and it was just, it wasn't cool. It was driving me nuts, so we're no longer with the albums. I still have them in their, their little folders here, um, but I, you know, I really wish somebody would come up with a perfect way to store stencils. And I'm sorry, but I have never seen the perfect way to store stencils. So, um, someday, somebody needs to come up with that. All right, so let's throw. Okay, so what are we going to do on our good side? What do we do about our I words? Okay, the first one is, like I said, um, injury. What do we do? We get help. We go to the doctors. We try everything they recommend. Um... We hope for the best. We pray. If you believe in praying, we pray. Um, we do everything in our power, physically, mentally, and financially, to fix the injury, right? That's the very first thing we do. 
Now, if that you don't fix that injury, what's next? Well, um, you learn about it. Um, I did a ton of research when I was told that this was it. You know, I'm I'm not going to get better. I did a lot of research, and I said, now wait a minute. You know, there's got to be more that can be done. Looked into every different avenue I could think of, and there is something to be done. They want to do a complete fusion on my back, and um, according to the surgeons, and I talked to two different ones that were actually um, two of the best ones in their field in upstate New York, and both of them told me that um, they are afraid if they do that fusion on me that they're going to cause me more pain than what I'm already in. And you know what? I deal with enough pain right now that I don't want to take that chance. I, I can't. I can't deal with more. I deal with enough as it is. And the other thing they told me is that I'm very, very young. They prefer not to do that type of a surgery on somebody my age. Um, but they will, you know, if, if I said went back to them right now and said, hey, you know, let's do the surgery and get it done, they, they would do it. But everything that I've heard and learned and researched and discussed with the doctors, it's not a possibility at this point. Look at that. Isn't that cool? It's got the metallic paints on it from before. And then I'm just adding a little bit more to it. And this is still really sticky. So I'm hoping I don't mess up that side. So, um, yeah, we figure out what our avenues are. And we do what we can to take care of the injury. And like I said, unfortunately, at this point, mine cannot be taken care of. So it is what it is. So what else do we do? Um, I talked about the irritability. <laughs> Um, and honestly, like I said earlier, this is what I do to help my mood. This is what I do um, when I get really down in, in the dumps and I don't want to be grumpy and I don't want to, um, you know, make my husband crazy by being grumpy. Um, I come in my art room. Sometimes I'll put on music, uh, usually country music, and I will sit here and just play in my journals. And when you guys see those videos, just play, that's pretty much what I'm doing. Um, sometimes I just, I have to get out of my head, and the only way for me to do that is to um, come in, sit down, and first thing I do is journal. When I have days like that, I journal. I get everything written out. And then I come back in and I'm like, okay, um, you know, I've gotten all that out of my system, out of my head. So let's just, let's get it completely out and let's stop, um, you know, with the rest of it. So what I'll do, like I said, I'll come in here, I'll turn on my radio. Um, actually, it's my computer. I'll put Pandora on and I will start creating Sometimes I turn the camera on, sometimes I don't. Depends on, you know, the mood I'm in or, you know, sometimes when you see, um, I know I have a video where I'm playing in my Dina Wakeley journal. Um, and I really didn't accomplish a whole lot, but to me it was very therapeutic because I was able to come in here, sit down, um, put on some paint, you know, uh, well, actually I didn't use paint, I was gluing stuff. I was just able to grab and just glue stuff into the journal and play around with the journal and not really think about it. So yeah, I kind of use art as my therapy when it comes to dealing with my injury. So, and I hope you guys will get to that point. Um, if you're fresh starting out on this journey, um, or even if you've been doing this for so long and you're just like, I don't know how to do this. You know, um, it doesn't have to be masterpieces. You don't have to have all these supplies and, and do everything I do. You don't have to do that. Go grab a coloring book and crayons 
If you don't want to do that, grab a notebook and a ballpoint pen and just sit and sketch or, you know, write or, you know, doodle or whatever. Just do something with your hands and your mind that's going to help you get off that roller coaster of emotions that you're going through because of the injury, because of the depression, because of the guilt, because of the anger, all of those things. Um, you know, try to do something that will take your mind off it. I know a lot of times I will ben binge watch Netflix if I'm having a really bad pain day. Well, the problem with doing that is sometimes I'll zone out into my head and think and not pay attention to what's going on on the television. So I have found that if I get my hands busy, I do a much better job at keeping myself um, from thinking about the issue that I, I'm worried about or I'm stressing over or whatever. Keep my hands busy and think about what I'm doing here and it's just such a, it's a much better help for me. So just, you know, my experience, um, if you still, you know, you're going round and round in your head about what's going on and, you know, like I said, Journaling is a godsend. Um, use it the best you can. And, you know, use your art. Use your hands. Maybe you can't create. Maybe you're not creative. What about um, trying out a different recipe for dinner tonight? Or what about, you know, going to the library and checking out a book that you've always wanted to read or one that you used to read a long time ago? Um, and it's so funny I say that because I was thinking the other day about... Um, I used to love Nancy Drew books when I was a kid. And I wondered the other day if they're still as good as I thought they were then. <laughs> I actually saw one um, in a store and I was like, huh, I wonder if they're still as good. <laughs> but um, i got to find some words or some stamps. And I'm not quite sure where my letter stamps are, so I'll be right back. All right, so I found my um, stamp blocks. So... All right, so what's the first thing I do um, when I have those issues is this word, imagination. What I'll do is I will come in here, just making sure I have all of the letters, and I will use my imagination and create, right? Um, isn't that where creativity comes from, is our imagination? I think so. Okay. Now, when I have um, other issues, let's say, you know, I'm dealing with the itch, um, I'm irritated because of the pain. Um, this is my huge, huge, huge go to. You guys have heard me talk about this before, and I can't say it enough. I use ice, ice helps me. It takes my body, it, um, it, I'll go from feeling like I'm sitting on a great big huge pillow to my back calming down enough so that it's not driving me totally insane. There's another word, insane. <laughs> and I'm putting it back here because it's true. Sometimes we just feel like we're going insane. Let's, where can I put it? Right here. Don't we? You know, and it, it, one of the things, example of that is here not too long ago, I went to my doctor for my fibro, and I said to her, I said, you're going to think I'm completely crazy, but this is what I'm feeling. And she's like, oh, that makes sense. She goes, yeah, that's all part of fibro. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so, yeah, we're not completely insane. Um, we just sometimes think we are because of the symptoms I mean, when I feel like I've got something crawling up my leg, I look down, there's not a darn thing there. I mean, it's like, hmm, all right, am I losing my mind or what's going on? So, yeah, that's another one. Um, but, and for that, what do you do? You go to your doctor and you verify, is this true or is this not true? And honestly, I thought there was something more going on with my legs. I didn't think it was just my back issue and just fibro, I thought, um, you know, there was something else going on because I have electric shocks going down my legs. I have 
Um, sometimes they'll go numb, they go tingly. I have the sciatica, that I understand, that I know. Um, I've The tops of my feet will itch like crazy and it just comes and goes whenever it feels like it. They'll itch like crazy and then they won't. Um, you know, so there were so many different symptoms that I thought, you know, something's really wrong here. And just recently I went to my doctor and I, I had written them all down. And I said, I don't want to sound, you know, like I'm a complainer, but I want to show you what's going on with my legs. And I handed her the list. And she read it all and she hands it back to me. She goes, yep. She goes, that's all. She goes, you have a very bad case of fibromyalgia. And she says, that's all normal symptoms. And I'm like, huh? So anyway, enough about that. But um, yeah, so there's things we can do for our I words. Um, and don't don't feel like you're alone you're not alone we're all out here there's a bunch of us that are battling this whether it be physical mental emotional whatever the pain may be um you know we're all here we're there we're not alone and i'll tell you when i first started going through this i thought for sure i was i thought that you know everybody else was out you know living their life and and being in the real world, and here I was stuck in my house being a nobody, you know, and um, it's difficult. So if anything, I hope this series will help um, some of you out there to know that you're not alone. Uh, if you ever want to chat, I, you know, I don't care if it's just, hey, Cindy, I'm having a really bad day. You know, can we talk for a few? Yeah, I'm here message me um, I'm on Facebook you can't miss me so uh, message me and let's you know chat um, I wish I would have been able to do that to people back when I started this mess you know so let me grab some fiber uh, let's see what I got down here here's a little piece of black and white that'll work right we'll just throw a little piece of black and white on here for today Maybe if I can get it small enough to put it in that hole. There's one. Two. There we go. I'm not going to put anything more on that side because I really like it the way it is. I think it's kind of cool looking. And this side, we've got all of our bad words. And it's funny because I started out with three words. And just while we're doing this, you know, we come up with some of these other ones. Um, one of the things I didn't talk about is when I get really, really um, irritated. Let's see, I talked about the injury, irritable, irritated, in inconsolable. When I get that way, just leave me alone. I'm in my room, curled up in my bed and just crying. And that's just, it has to come out of my system. That's the way it is. And, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, irritable bowel syndrome. Um, like I said, I don't have to deal with that, thankfully, but I know that there are people that do. And the biggest thing I can say is talk to your doctor. Don't be shy. Don't, um, you know, put it off. Oh, no, it's just, you know, maybe something I ate. No, talk to your doctor because there may be something that they can do for you. Or you may have a different underlying problem. So, you know, it's, it's not something to mess around with. So definitely talk to your doctor. Itch. Um, I itch it <laughs> like crazy. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of non-itch cream on it. It does not help. Um, and then eventually it goes away. It happened just this morning. I was sitting here and the tops of my feet were, I could have swore they had been bitten by 25 mosquitoes. And now it's gone. It's just gone. Just happens. <laughs> All right. And I use my ice. Um, I use my imagination. And, you know, um... Those are my I words for today. So I hope you guys are enjoying this series. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. I'll be glad to help you um, or answer anything that I can. And as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I will talk to you guys next week. Have a good night. Bye.